being awakened from sleep is disorienting. But this was a call I really hadn't expected. Our director of operations was on the other end of the line. Kathy, I'm, I'm just now reviewing the details of that flight you turned down last night. You were wrong. I could remember every detail of that flight request. The patient needed transport. I knew how long it would take to package up the multiple drips, the vent, the balloon pump. I knew how quickly ground fog could spread. Watching the horizons disappear was not an experience I wanted to repeat. Last night's PIC was new to the region and the industry. I knew he had checked the weather. He knew that another helicopter company had tried to take this flight and wound up grounded in a field between our base and theirs. But I wasn't sure that he knew how quickly and unpredictably that ground fog from the river could spread. I wasn't sure he understood how much time it would take for us to get the patient ready for transport. And that was exactly my stance in our discussion as we debated whether we should go ahead and take the flight. We really went toe-to-toe on this. He was certain that the weather would be okay. I was certain that the fog was unpredictable. A policy had been in place before either one of us had to make a decision that night. Three to go, one to say no. I knew the policy was in place so that we would never forget how much we value the opinion of every person on the crew. Last night, the pilot and I had congratulated each other on presenting thoughtful views. We shook hands. But now, here I was, listening to someone else's hindsight with weather reports that tracked the fog's development through the night. He was right, this Monday morning quarterback. But I felt betrayed. Fifteen years of experience helped me keep my perspective on this scolding for standing my ground. In the same situation, I would make the same decision again. What worried me was whether a new nurse would do the same.